Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving through St. Anne on the north coast of Jamaica. It's a rainy day, but um, we are on the northern coastal highway. Now this is the main road that takes you from Montego Bay to Ocho Rios. It actually runs from Negril all the way back to Port Antonio. But the busiest corridor is between Montego Bay and Ocho Rios because Montego Bay is where you have the Sanks International Airport and Ocho Rios is probably the second most visited place by tourists in Jamaica. And this road is going to be upgraded. It's going to be a four lane dual carriageway. It's going to look more like a highway. So we are going, we're on the outskirts of St. Anne's Bay, the town. So this route has already has like a bypass so you don't have to drive through the actual town but in certain sections though they don't have a bypass so you have to go through runaway bay so the government is going to be building a bypass through runaway bay so you no longer have to go through runaway bay and discovery bay the road also goes through the town so they're going to be building a bypass now when this road was built the northern coastal highway it was intended to accommodate 15,000 cars a day 15,000 cars a day so the road has outgrown that now the more than 15,000 cars use this road a day so that is why they are going to expand it now it's up to 30,000 in some points 40,000 cars use this road a day between Montego Bay and Greenwood just on the outskirts of Montego Bay it's estimated that 40,000 cars use that corridor every day so that is why the government is spending over 120 billion dollars to upgrade the section between Montego Bay and Ocho Rios. it's going to be one of the largest capital expenditures in the history of Jamaica but it's needed because the tourism industry in Jamaica is booming you have you have so many hotels being built in Jamaica and this road will get persons to those hotels from the airport now the Sangster International Airport is the largest airport in Jamaica. It's also the busiest airport in Jamaica. It's also the busiest airport in the English-speaking Caribbean. And it's the fourth busiest airport in the Caribbean. So with 85% of the persons coming through the Sangster International Airport or 85% of the people using that airport are tourists. So when the tourists come into Jamaica, there are three main places they go to to stay. Montego Bay, Negril and Ocho Rios. Now Montego Bay is probably the number one destination but Ocho Rios is number two but meaning where persons stay overnight. And the corridor between Montego Bay and Ocho Rios is full of hotels, full of Airbnb um, locations, very busy retourism. So that's why, that's why this corridor is being upgraded. It's the most heavily used part of the highway, for sure. But it's going to be upgraded. So it will go from 15,000 cars to accommodate 40,000 cars when it's a four-lane dual carriageway. It's needed. But another thing about Ocho Rios now that makes it special is it doesn't matter where a person stay in Jamaica, they visit the top three attractions in Jamaica, which are all located in Ocho Rios. And so whether you stay in Negril, Montego Bay, you're going to travel to Ocho Rios to visit Dunge River Falls, which is the number one attraction, Dolphin Cove, which is the number two attraction, and Mystic Mountain, which is the number three attraction. Now you have other attractions along the corridor, like Green Grotto Cave, other places you can visit, but those are the top three locations. And 
are all located off the northern coastal highway in Ocho Rios. So that's another reason why so many people use this road. Just we're just talking tourists now. We're not talking about the local industries, but tourists. And then now you have two communities off this road, also in Saint Anne, that are very busy. Drax Hall is now the fastest growing community in Jamaica. And that's just on the outskirts of Ocho Rios. Thousands of homes are under construction there, in addition to the thousands that are already finished. And a lot of them are used for Airbnb because they're just on the outskirts of Ocho Rios. So tourists will use them. Now, before Draxall took off, you had Richmond Estate, which I will say is the nicest community in Jamaica or the nicest housing complex I should say it is when you drive in there we have videos up of it you must check it out when you drive in there you wouldn't believe you're driving in Jamaica the landscape the way the place is so nicely designed it is the number one development or housing scheme or complex in Jamaica without a doubt and Richmond is right we're actually going into Richmond now and you have massive developments on the out um, in the Richmond estate area. I think they have four developments, thousands of homes, and they're also very popular for Airbnb. So that's another reason why this corridor is so busy. And Ocherius should be designated a city, without a doubt. I have no idea why it's not designated a city. And you also have the Ian Fleming International Airport. It's actually located in Boscobel, but the call sign for the airport is Ocho Rios because Ocho Rios is just so popular. So this is also the road that connects the Sangsa International Airport to the Ian Fleming International Airport. And you have, you have other areas like Port Antonio, St. Mary has a lot of um, hotels, and this is the road persons would take to get from the Sangsa International Airport to those areas. All right, guys, thanks for taking the tour with us. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is just an update on the Northern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. I don't think we had mentioned that at the beginning of the video. All right, guys, have a good day.